You're in the boat. Wow, yeah. this is a cool boat. Is this your boat? Yes. Today we're going to do part two of our series on teaching job. That's right, teaching. teaching. Like You're a teacher, so how was your day teaching today? Oh, honestly, it's a bit tiring. I had a handful of, you know, <laughs> little bundle of joys. A little bundle of joys. Wow, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm teaching grade one, two, and three, so you know. Wow, that's a lot of bundles of joys. <laughs> Hey, bundles. what's all that noise back there? There's another bundle of yeah. noise. <laughs> that guy. Teacher V, today was a special day in Thai schools. What was today? Ooh, teacher's Day in Thailand. That's right. What do they call that here? They call it Crew Day. All right, so we'll look at Y Crew today. Hey, quiet on the set. <laughs> oh, matey. Oh, matey. Hey, matey. Hey, Miles. Do you have anything to say to the viewers? Yeah. What do you say? Oh, Marty. Towards the end of uh, towards the end of our vlog today, we're also going to touch on a couple other topics uh, that I think might be helpful to teachers out there who are looking for work in Thailand. And also, without any further ado, yes, tune in. <laughs> tune in. And like. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Subscribe. Share. <laughs> and bong, hit that notification bell. Okay, can you tell us what's your name? Where are you from? Well, I'm Gandhi. Uh, just like Mahatma Gandhi of India, the freedom fighter. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm affectionately called Coffee. I'm well, originally from Ghana. Ghana. Ghana, right, yeah, like yeah. Teacher Diamond. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. And Teacher Gandhi, can you tell us what is it that you enjoy about being a teacher overseas? What I enjoy being a teacher here, to be specific, is uh, the culture of the people, the culture here. What are some of the challenging aspects of being a foreign teacher abroad? Mm -hmm. Where I'm coming from, you are taught to be somebody who pays attention. A mm -hmm. teacher is in class, teacher controls the class, mm -hmm. but over here students want to control you, the teacher. So it makes it very challenging. Now what for idea. topics do you teach here at this school? Well, I teach math, mathematics, and I teach social studies. I teach geography, economics, wow. and English for communications. All right, that's a yeah. pretty full schedule there. Exactly. I have background to all these subjects. How did you choose this area, or how did that come about for you to come to our farming community? Well, farming community, the thing is, I used to be in the north. I used to teach in the north and uh, I taught there for just some um, five years and I, I felt like I think enough, enough. I've traveled to so many places and I thought, no, let me come down south, western part of Thailand. I haven't lived like over there. I've lived in Bangkok, lived in the north, in the east and I thought, no, let me just come down south and see if I can explore this area as well. In the north, we live in the mountains. Right. And I said, let me come to the sea down here and explore life over here. That's why I ended up living here. During the production of our video, we were interested in finding out like how many foreign teachers are currently in Thailand. However, what we found was a bit of confusion and ambiguity. For example, one article here claims that there's 11,000 foreign teachers in Thailand. However, right next to it, this one claims that there's 11,200 foreign teachers in Thailand, of which 4,300 are Filipino teachers. But however, if you look over on the right side, one law firm claims that there's 11,200 foreigners teaching in Thailand. Right below there, there's another source that claims that there are 20,000 Filipinos in Thailand of which more than 16,000 are teachers. However, when you look at the middle one, again, it says that there's only 4,360 Filipino teachers. Now, the thing that the viewer needs to understand is that there are two types of teachers in Thailand. There are those that are working here legally with a work permit and a visa, and there are other teachers that are working illegally and that are undocumented. What's your name? My name is Teacher Joe. All right, Teacher Joe, where are you from? I'm from the UK, uh, in a small town in the north, uh, in the county of North Yorkshire. How did you choose this small town here to teach? Um, well, my agency 
recommended it to me because I um, said to them I want to be in a small town at the beach. That was kind of it because I didn't know anything about the geography of Thailand mm. before I came. So this was the first place they said we've got this small town. Do you want to go there? And I said yeah. Did you teach back in England? Uh, I didn't teach in person. I taught um, Chinese students online um, for maybe a few months before coming over here. What do you enjoy about being a, a foreign teacher overseas? Um, I enjoy the challenge. It's like every day it seems like there's something that's like, oh, I'm doing this. It's like a building relationships with the kids. It's mm. kind of it's great. It's difficult because you know you don't speak the language. What are the challenges that you face uh, as a foreign teacher? I think specifically being in a small town feels quite isolated sometimes. Mm. Um, I find that wherever I go, people are staring at me and they're kind of like apprehensive. Like they don't. And, and around here, uh, people don't really speak English much, mm. so they're kind of like scared if you talk to them and. I found when I first moved here, it was very frustrating, but now I'm kind of used to it. So, what is your name and where are you from? I am Teacher Win and I'm from the Philippines. Did you teach back home in the Philippines? Yeah, so I started teaching after I graduated from the college and I, uh, I, I teach in the Philippines for one year and then after that I uh, uh, decided to come here in Thailand. What subject do you teach here? Here, actually I'm teaching different subjects, but this year I am handling uh, social studies, arts, PE. Oh, PE! Oh, yeah. Okay, physical education. physical education. Right, for you Sorry. folks out there. How did you choose this particular area? How did that come about? Jeff and I we were friends and the Thai teacher, so he recommended us here to work here with two teacher toy. So that's the reason behind this. Okay. What do you find that's challenging about being a teacher in a foreign country? Uh, I think that ch the challenge here is the language barrier because sometimes it's not easy to communicate with the uh, high teachers or students like that and also the because you're uh, you're away from your family so I think those are the challenges. Uh, yeah. Teacher Toy, can you tell us what activities or, or what do you do with uh, the English, English program uh, for the students? Yeah, the activity for English program student. Um, the first one we have the English camp mm. one year, one time. Mm. Monday through Fridays they study with the foreign teachers. Yes. And then on Saturdays they have English with the Thai teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. Mathematics with Thai teacher. Sai and with Thai teacher too. Teacher Toy, um, yeah. culturally, and when I was here teaching, a lot of students are very shy about using English. Yeah. Can you tell us why is that? Why? Or uh, for my opinion, um, when the the students study English in class and Thai teacher lets them to know about the grandma, mm. the but. Uh, Thai teacher did not teach them how to communicate together in the class. For the EP students, mm -hmm. for the English program students, what you focus on is grammar and what else? Uh, grammar, communication, listening and speaking. The English program student, they can communicate uh, with the foreign teacher mm -hmm. and with friend in class by using English very well. Do you find this, this process like building confidence in you or, or...? I think it's beginning slowly. I feel it more in the classroom than outside. But like, yeah, slowly it's happening. I've only been here for like... I've been in Thailand for like four weeks, but I've only been teaching for three. So it's still... I feel like I'm still in the learning phase and the confidence will come like a little bit later. Okay. And you made a conscious decision to teach abroad? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. And did you go through an agency or how did you find yeah, this school? I went through an agency called Explore Asia as Teacher Joe, Joe has done through the exact same one and they ended up placing me here. And so. Jelly, you studied English before? Other uh, school? Yes, um, I start, studied in private school in Japan's ah. and 
have um, a little bit English subject and have a foreigner teacher. Do your friends use English too? Yes, um, sometimes, but not every day. Not every day? Only in time. Okay. And how about when you use social media? Do you use Thai, English, or both? Yes, I use in, um, English when I talk with my mom. Ah, okay. So you use English at home. Okay. Do you know what you want to do, Yam, when you finish school? Like where you want to go study college? I have to go another country. Oh, really? Yeah, because my uh, my uh, my aunt uh, uh, she lives in England. Excellent. Thank you. And Jelly, how about you? Do you know what you want to do after high school? Yes, I want to study about college, university. Here we are with some uh, English program students. And what is your name, dear? Uh, my name is Nene. Father, my father said this, my eyes is so beautiful. Aha, mm. uh -huh. okay, so your eyes are beautiful and, and your father feels your eyes are beautiful, so that's your nickname, okay. And Dubai, why did you choose the nickname Dubai? Uh, my father likes Dubai. Your father likes Dubai? Yeah. Okay, have you been to Dubai? Yeah. Okay, do you know where it is? No. Okay, you know it's very hot in Dubai, right? <laughs> no? Okay. And uh, Indy, what, how did you get your name Indy? Uh, my mom right? uh, Every June throughout schools in Thailand, there's a ceremony called Y Crew that takes place. This is basically a way for students of all levels to show their appreciation to their teachers by offering them these small little uh, flower arrangements. So the school administrators and the teachers from the other departments Ah, here's Miles. He sees mommy there, but he's like, oh, I want to sit on mommy's lap. <laughs> but actually, he has to go and make his offering. And now, a final word on appreciation for Filipino teachers based in Southeast Asia. As was reported by one of the largest English language newspapers in Thailand, they wrote an article about the situation of Filipino teachers in Thailand. Not only are Filipino teachers very highly qualified and accredited, they're also one of the lowest paid teaching groups in Thailand. Now, Filipinos are ranked 15th in the world by the English Proficiency Index. They're also highly sought out because they have a very high work ethic. The Philippine Embassy estimates there's 17,900 Filipinos that are documented and undocumented in Thailand, as we mentioned earlier. Two main reasons why Filipinos are drawn to teaching in Thailand. One is the, the workload here is a lot lighter than back home, and also they get paid a little bit better than they would in their home country. With that being said, Thailand is part of the ASEAN community, which is the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. However, the article points out that the English language proficiency in Thailand is quite low. This puts Filipino teachers in high demand. There are some disparities, as I mentioned earlier, about salaries between Filipino teachers and native English speakers. As the article points out, color has nothing to do with competency and efficiency in teaching, which I agree with. If you have the same skills, the same amount of experience, and the same credentials as a native English speaker, you should get the same type of salary. Now also keep in mind that a teaching contract in Thailand for any teacher regardless of nationality, is one year. Now, it's the end of the day and time for the students to go home. What you're going to find in Thailand is throughout most of the provinces, if not all the provinces, whether it's at public schools or other teaching institutions, there is no centralized or organized school busing system. It's largely left up to the families, and the students themselves to find a way to get to school and back home. We have private drivers that have vehicles like this called a Song Tao. Students pay a, a fee every month for this service. You'll also find uh, private van drivers. They provide this much needed service for a monthly fee.
And for many students, the only option is to drive themselves to school and back home on their motorcycles. This is very common throughout Thailand as well as Southeast Asia. What do you say? Don't forget um, to don't forget to like and subscribe. And what else? Click the like button and you will like. Click the like button, right? And click the like so so you can do some more fun videos you want. Okay, we can do more fun videos that you want and we want. All right, very yeah. good. Okay, yeah. let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. All right, let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's go, matey. Let's go, matey.